Welcome to this Goliath Getting Started Guide. My name is Chris Gamble. And my name is Mike Stish. And we are the developer relations team, sometimes called DevRel. We're going to be walking you through getting started with the console, creating your first account, and actually adding your first device so that you're ready to go. Mike, what does it take to go and create our first account? Well, it's super easy. You want to head over to Goliath.io and you're going to see a couple of big buttons. This one up here. But of course, I want to use the one with the fancy gradient color on it down here. They both go to the same place. When you do get to the single sign-on, you have your choice to log in or sign up. We're going to assume this is your first account. So I'll click on the sign up. You can use any email address that you want, but I am just going to use a test address in order to sign up today and make sure you use a strong password and agree to the terms. We're in, Chris. We did it, Mike. <laughs> We're on the inside. <laughs> so the first so thing you're greeted here? with is a wizard that's gonna help you set up your first project and your first device. Now, don't worry, this is like the digital version of your device, so you don't have to have a piece of hardware in hand ready. This just kind of paves the way for it. I'm gonna pick a project name. You can pick anything that you want. It will also give you a, a cute little name for it. Um, this is gonna be our video guide project. And the next thing it does is say, hey, just register a device with us. So we're just gonna call this a uh, you know test device for now. And this is the password step, Chris. Do you wanna say a little bit about this? Sure, yeah. So this is basically, as you're creating your PSK or pre-shared key and your PSK ID, some of these can be auto-generated for you, but these are going to be actually what goes, gets programmed into your device. And there's a couple ways we'll show that in future videos. But the main thing is, is this allows your authenticate your device to authenticate itself onto the Goliath cloud. So that when it starts sending back data, Goliath cloud says, yep, I know who this is. I know that it's cool for them to be sending me data and they're allowed to, I will show this data in the Goliath console. So at this point, you have the chance to click through to our docs and pick the type of device uh, officially supported for right now, our ESP32 and NRF91. But you can also use a virtual device if you want. Uh, I'll just give you a, a look at what the instructions look like. But for now, I think we're going to stick to the Goliath console and kind of talk about what's going on in here. So the first thing that you're going to notice is that we have uh, a set of projects here, the video guide that I just set up. You can also choose them from the top here. And within these projects, you can choose the devices over on the left sidebar, and you'll see the one that I just set up. It's really easy to add another one. You do it the exact same way. Uh, this is, I'm just gonna go with the device name that it's picked here. You also have the opportunity, if you wanna choose your username and password uh, for the device, you can do that manually here. I do, Chris, like to use the automatically generated uh, pre-shared key. It's a lot more secure than typing in, you know, password one. And you only need to give it to the, the device once. So you'll be copying and pasting this later. And uh, once you have that created, it takes you to this device page, which has a ton of really useful information on it. Yeah, one thing to know is that you can create up to 50 devices on the dev tier. So Mike showed you that view with uh, multiple devices in there. You can, uh, the dev tier is our free program for people that are getting started with Goliath. So 50 devices for free, you can load up this thing. There will be one project available for you. And uh, once you're past that, then you could talk to us about uh, future paid options. What about the actual view you were just showing there, Mike? The, uh, the individual project or device view? Yeah, so I find I spend a lot of my time in the device view when you're working with a device and getting it set up. Uh, one of the things that is really cool is Goliath has the ability to push firmware upgrades to devices. And so if I had those set up, you would see right here what version of the firmware this was running. Uh, when your device streams data back to Goliath, if it's uh, persistent data, you'll see it in the light DB state. If it's time series data, so think about like taking a temperature reading every five minutes, you're going to be able to see it in the light DB stream. Um, scrolling down the page, you can see the credentials that we set up in our initial step are here. You can add another set of credentials if you want to be able to rotate keys and that sort of thing. And finally, this is super cool. 
if you are uh, using the logging system when you're developing or, or just to get information, you can see it like through a serial connection to your device, but you can also turn on cloud logging. And in this tile right here, you're gonna see each log message appear from your device over the air. Yeah, that's super useful. Figure out what's going on or just, you know, seeing when it takes some certain action uh, throughout the life of the device, very useful. Uh, we are gonna have individual projects, samples, videos, Developer Relations is here to help you out, and we want to showcase all of the things that, that Goliath is doing. This is actually a rework of a past getting started video because we keep updating things. And so if you see things that are unexpected or you need some help, you can always reach out to us. What are some good places for people to do that, Mike? I would always recommend that you come to our Discord channel. It's a great place to interact live with us. And, uh, you know, our role is to help you. and. In hearing your questions, we're going to make it a lot easier for everyone. So please bring those up. Uh, you can also post to our forums, uh, which is a great place to ask questions that are going to be persistent. Again, people can learn from the same things that you're running into. And so uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Great. Well, I'm looking forward to see what everyone's building. And thanks for watching today.